Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Today we're in Vegas Pro 17 and we're going to take a look at compressors. So we've been working through some of the different audio tools. We've talked about cleaning up audio and things like that. Today we're going to talk about a compressor and how, what exactly it is, how it works with Vegas. So uh, it's really an effect you can add. You can right click any clip of audio and add the audio vent. If you've never added it before, you'll see this screen. You can hit track compressor sorry hit add and OK and then you'll have a compressor on the clip itself it one comes on every single track but the way it comes on it when you go to your track track effects you'll have these three tracks and they're essentially dudded like they're not really acting on your audio they're just here ready to act on your audio if you enact them so we're going to talk about more about enacting this compressor but you can also just for thoroughness sake you can also go to the project itself over here at the master uh, preview audio preview and hit this FX button and you can just simply do the same adding effect there track compressor add OK but I'm going to remove it from there as well because I only want it in one space for what we're going to do. So today I have this little clip from uh, my buyer's guide I worked on. This includes Blu-rays and things like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that. But SoundForge is a very powerful audio editor. So if you're like, wow, that was really quiet, that's because I'm not really affecting the audio. So I'm going to – my – actual mic for this tutorial will be affected but the way I'm gonna cut it this the desktop audio is going to have very little if any uh, compensation or very little if any um, changes so that way you can hear what I'm doing the best that you can so uh, that is quiet and I recorded it quiet so I could lower my room noise and so that's really important because that has a big deal to do with understanding what your compressor is about to do so if you see right here where it's quiet in the audio clip, very, very thankfully, there's if you're a very little room noise. There's a little bit of throat clicking right there. So if you're a but the room noise is almost non-existent. And then you can actually hear Blu-rays and things like me that. talking. But my waveforms you can see are almost non-existent. If I hit shift up, you can see them, but that's because I can artificially make the waveforms look bigger. But really, there's very little sound actually here on this clip. Uh, the, so that's one of the Good weaknesses is like of full... recording at a low volume. It does give you a cleaner sound, but it doesn't give you very much of it. So a compressor can do this. A compressor can actually help you raise the volume, raise the gain of your sound in a way that's actually very helpful to you because it can make your loud sounds softer and your soft sounds louder. So let's talk about that. Yeah. And give them DVDs of their wedding. That would be something to consider. This is you see this little range here of when I'm talking, the little the little peak indicators, the little waveform tops indicators. And give them DVDs of their wedding. That would be something to consider. This see how they move around? There's a range in which I'm talking where the audio typically lands in. What you want to do is when you add a compressor, you can crush that range a little bit while we're not bringing up your ground floor as much as possible. And so let's talk more about that. Let's open up the compressor. Let's go to track effects and here we go. You can see that Vegas gives you a lot of standard compressors right here and in previous tutorials I just told you to pick the one that works for you but today we're going to talk about why and how. So this default one doesn't really do anything because the threshold is super high. And so the way the compressor works, it's like a pipe that you put audio into a certain way and then you pull audio out of it a certain way. You have to think about it flowing through the compressor to really understand what it's doing. And when you choose the amount you're doing, you're choosing the, the amount of compression you're going to do. For example, a 2 to 1 compression is for every, see the amount, how this amount bar moved to 2 when I selected a 2 to 1 compression. That's a standard of compression type and the amount of compression for every 2 decibels of volume increase, you only get 1 decibel of volume increase coming out of the pipe. So that's the compression. It squishes it down. For every 2 decibels of increase, it squishes it to only 1 decibel of increase. But that's good because it actually makes it to where my voice is in a tighter range. So when I increase the volume, I can I can have more control over how hearable my voice is, how clear it is, um, stuff like that. So that's something to consider. But with this right here, let's 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 just listen to it with the two to one compression like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. Now let's listen to it with the uh, no compression like that. And then 
SoundForge. Did you hear it? It's a little bit louder with the 2.1 compression. Of their wedding, that would be something to consider. This includes Blu ray. So it's already louder and clearer because it's kind of raising a lot of my voice is quieter than the tops of my voice. So it's actually kind of, when I said it's squishing it together, a lot of what it's doing is raising the bulk of my talking closer to the height of my talking. So that, that squished in point is. is tighter and clearer and, and it kind of gives an artificial gain boost. It sounds louder than it actually is. And that's good. We're going to harness that effect. But you can see my audio is so quiet. Audio editor, which Vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing. But it's not really doing a lot because it's got to hit this 18 decibel threshold before it really works. So the ground floor, let's find the ground floor. The ground floor is still really low. So let's, let's move the threshold down to down to 36 and things like that and then soundforge is included with one of the versions we'll talk about that but soundforge is a notice how the reduction you know, the red and the reduction is actually appearing now because this time we're actually doing we're actually using the compressor the threshold is high enough that the compressor is actually being enacted soundforge is a very powerful audio editor which vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing but this is like a full-on audio suite editor for someone who's like regularly recording bands and things like that notice how my peaks are regularly hitting higher too so it's bringing up the audio uh that wants to be brought up but when we listen to the ground floor the room noise so if you're a really dvd low. creator for example now you can uh, mess with the attack how fast it works but if you mess with it too much, the attack and the release, you can actually make it very visible, how you, very auditorily visible, very easy to uncover your compressor behind it. It'll he, you'll hear the mechanisms working. Their wedding, that would be something to consider. This includes Blu-ray. This includes Blu-rays and things like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that. But SoundForge is a very powerful audio editor, which Vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing. But this is like... See, so there's a less reduction going on. It's because the, we can actually handle a little higher attack. But the release is how... It's not actually doing as much reduction because... A sound reduction because the release is what catches some of that reduction when you're releasing it so quick you're only reducing the highest of high peaks so uh, that's something to keep in mind as you're adjusting these pieces right here now one thing this auto gain compensation what I want to note about it is you're actually kind of reducing the volume whenever you kind of make a reduction you're reducing the overall volume this auto gain compensation will bring the volume kind of back up to where it should be uh, when I say volume gain is different than volume Volume. It's bringing the signal back up where it should be, so that way you're you're still having a strong input signal even when you're reducing stuff. Let's listen to it without. This includes Blu-rays and things like that, and then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that, but SoundForge is a very see that's a noticeable audio difference. So I usually leave the auto gain compensation on. However, you can do some makeup gain here with this output gain. Let's listen to this. It includes Blu-ray. This includes Blu-rays and things like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that. But SoundForge is a very powerful audio editor, which Vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing. But this is like a full-on audio suite editor for someone who's like regularly recording bands. See, see how it usually hits in between the 6 and the 18? That's much more friendly of an audio range. And you can actually do a higher compression if you want. And see, we got to lower this threshold. See, it says starting at 12. That's where uh, we got to lower this back to 36. And it's got a really high amount. Let's see what this does. It's got smooth saturation on because high amounts will... Uh, you, we'll listen to it with and without. That would be something to consider. This includes Blu-ray. This includes Blu-rays and things like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that. But sound. See how that six to one compression ratio? It actually really made the whole audio sound louder. Notice that my output gain, the makeup gain, is back at zero. So let's listen to this over here. 
My ground floor is louder too. Even with my threshold turned down, it still will turn up bands and floor. things like that. About that, but SoundForge is a very powerful audio editor, which yeah, Vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing, but this is like a full on audio suite editor for someone who's like regularly recording. So this smooth saturation actually takes some of the punch out of your attack. It's some of the air pressure out of it really is is it is what it does. So see how tight of a range that creates between 6 and 18 kind of very nicely. And so what you can actually do is just increase your volume a little bit. This is a great time to introduce volume. See how uh, 6 is really the highest. We don't want it to go out of the thing because then it creates distortion and it's going to really hurt headphone users too because it's just going to be ultra loud if it hits past this. But you don't want it to distort. You just want it to hit kind of at the three really maxly or maybe a bit above it. But uh, And remember too, adding background music or things like that, that'll raise the overall volume of the entire production too. That's why this is a master bus. It shows you all the audio. But uh, here, uh, let's go ahead and raise this volume by three decibels because you can see on the right we got a pretty tight, it's pretty tight in this area. Really between six and 12 would be absolutely perfect, but this is a pretty good little section here. And you'll notice that it was hitting at six, now see where it hits at. DVDs of their wedding, that would be something to consider. This includes Blu-ray, this includes Blu-rays and things like that. And then SoundForge is included with one of the versions. We'll talk about that. But SoundForge is a very powerful audio editor, which Vegas already has a lot of power with its audio editing. So see, now it's actually hitting higher, more regularly between the 6 and 12. But the bigger, louder sounds that were hitting up to the 6 are now hitting up to the 3. See, we've moved it up 3 decibels by upping the volume 3. So that's a great way to use a compressor with your audio tracks to kind of get clear audio. Listen to the room noise though. So we still got room noise, but thankfully it's low. I've seen room noise really bad before because when it gets up into here, it gets pretty audible, right? So you really want to keep it in the four, like below this 48 line, if at all possible. And so even with every time you raise the volume, you're raising the entire volume of this clip which includes the room noise so the less the more you can the compressor can pull up just your audio talking and tighten that a little bit then you can have a better finer adjustment with your volume without bringing the room noise up a whole bunch thank you so much for watching this video like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one check out the affiliates links below for awesome cool things like buying vegas and udemy courses i'll see you next time